Hi, so Dr. Chad McGee here again, and uh, we're here with Angel, and today we're going to talk about, about eye issues with your horse. Some of the things that, that might tip you off with eye injuries with your horse, really they, they're going to manifest in a lot of the same ways that you could think if you or I were to have an eye, an eye injury. If you got poked in the eye, what's going to happen? It's going to be tearing, you're going to be squinting a little bit, um, and it's going to be sore. So really a lot of those same things come into play with, with horses as well. It's pretty common to wind up having eye injuries in horses. They oftentimes can be pretty reactive and wind up catching an eye on something or bumping into something. It's certainly not uncommon. You're gonna treat different conditions vastly different. And if you use the wrong treatment on the wrong condition, it can have some, some very, very bad consequences, especially if you were to use a, uh, use a, a product that had a, a steroid in it for treating a corneal ulcer that that would have some very very negative consequences associated with it but nonetheless take home have your veterinarian take a peek at it and uh, figure out what the underlying cause is so angel here has some some very prominent third eyelid so if you notice this pink structure here in the very front of his eye so that is the third eyelid if your horse has pink third eyelids those are, those are very overrepresented for developing squamous cell carcinoma, which is a type of cancer. You want to make sure that it maintains that nice, smooth, glossy surface texture to it. And if, if you ever notice that there's any changes in it, any irregularities, anything like that, um, if it looks like it's starting to get like a, like a dimpled or cobble, cobblestone texture to it, um, give your veterinarian a call. Have them come out and take a peek at it because if your horse does develop squamous cell carcinoma on their third eyelid and you catch it while it's still on the third eyelid, it's a very simple surgery to do. They're very easy to remove. It's just done in the field. Um, not exaggerating, it's like a 99% curative. If it winds up getting into deeper tissues and gets into the, to the adjacent structures around the eye, that carries a much worse prognosis. So it's one of those things that you really wanna get on sooner than later. Giving them a fly mask that has some UV protection, that's a very, very good thing to help, help prevent that from occurring. They're also good to have on hand too in case you do have a horse that winds up getting an eye injury because one of the things that we're gonna do for a horse that has a, a corneal ulcer or something like that, one of the medications that I'm, I'm gonna prescribe for them is atropine which dilates the pupil and if their pupil's fixed and dilated, that's just letting all of that light come into the eye. It's a nice thing to have something like that on hand and be able to kind of keep some of that light out of there so that they're not, not getting blinded, so to speak, by all of that extra light coming through the eye. So hopefully we, uh, hopefully we answered some questions that you guys might have had out there, and thanks again. Take care.